guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lexi Alon. And if you guys are new, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The YouTube algorithm needs all that so y'all can see more of my videos. If you guys are interested in creating this same look, stay tuned. Good morning, y'all. It is New Year's Eve. I am so excited that we, whoever's watching this, we made it to the end of 2020. What a crazy ass year, like what? I cannot believe it is December 31st. This is crazy. 2020 has been interesting to say the least. And I'm trying to start off the year right. And this this year, you know, I always set goals, but my goal this year is just consistency. That's it, consistency in anything that I put my mind to. So with that being said, that's the only goal, consistency. It's not gonna be like, a 20 page list i'm not doing it this year it's literally just consistency so um yeah i'm telling y'all now consistency <laughs> something is telling me to do like a get ready with me as i get ready for the not so festive new year's eve that i'm going to have but i want to get cute and take some photos why not show y'all what i'm gonna do so i think i'm going to just wash and do my hair and eat my face and put on a cute outfit that I got. I was supposed to go down to Atlanta for New Year's, but nah, not gonna happen. But I have the outfit and I got my nails done, so I would get cute. <laughs> this is gonna come out after New Year's, but I just wanted to say to everybody who's lost somebody this year, my heart goes out to you. I'm praying for people who need that void to be filled but shoot the world needs prayers so I'm praying that 2021 is a blessing for all who went through something and and just anybody but uh for people who went through something in 2020 you know so yeah let's do this makeup tutorial and hair tutorial because lord knows I need to revive this hair it's plain and simple like look stuff isn't Girl, bye. <laughs> All right, so I have let my hair air dry. It doesn't have any, no, it does have a little product in it. I'll put that in the description because I think I left it downstairs in the bathroom. But, you know, hair is flowing. It's not dreading anymore. Um, sorry about that. I got a phone call. Um, so where was I? 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 The hair is washed. It's uh, I'm looking at it in the camera. It's flowy. Um, it has air dried, so it's gotten a little puffy. But I am going to blow it out. I got it from Target. It has a little strand of the red wig. I don't know if you saw that on the gram, but yeah. <laughs> so I love this thing. It's from Revlon, I believe. Yep. Wow, as you can see, um, it was a little shitty, but I am going to go in with this, and I, for the most part, like it. It puts a nice straightening to the hair. It blows it out nicely, and then I can go over it quickly with my flat iron. I don't have any expensive flat iron. I don't have any of that stuff. I do kind of want a baby Liss. Bliss? Bliss? Liss? I don't know, baby, the blue one. I like that one. I had a really good flat iron maybe a year ago at this point, but you know, it fell, it cracked, and then it started snagging on my hair, and I got time for that. It was too expensive, and I was heartbroken, so I got a nice cheap flat iron. But anyways, I'm gonna go in. This is gonna be a speeded up process. It's going to probably take me about an hour to finish my hair, but it'll be quick for you. I'm going to section my hair, and if you see this, everybody knows, you know, when you freshly put your, your hair down and you want them baby hairs to be flat, flat tat tat, if this is what you do. I can't find any of my freaking, whatchamacallits, any of my clips, so I know, I know everybody knows, bobby pins, all that stuff gets lost in the house. And I don't know why. It's so annoying. I'm gonna just do little sections. This is gonna be in double time. 
Hope y'all enjoy. Hey, so that was quick. That was probably the quickest. I'm not even kidding. I think that took 12 minutes when I saw it on the screen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Okay. Like, that was. She's shining or whatever. Wow. Luster. Natural luster. It's not too crazy. I'll probably put a little bit of Moroccan oil. Wow. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I even want to do a flat iron. One thing I do know for sure is that, don't judge, my hot comb broke. So when you see it pressed, because it's going to get flat flat, it's going to have to be off camera. I am taking a legit hot iron, like clothing iron to my head and getting this thing down you know don't don't judge the process don't do that don't do that don't do that <laughs> but okay I'm loving this this is I'm kind of thinking I want to do some layers in the front so that when I do blow it out it's just like wispy airy Ooh, because I'm worth it Ooh. What's up? Mm. Yes, baby. Yes. This hair is giving me life. Ah! Okay, let me stop. <laughs> All right. Now that this is blown out, I mean, I see a couple places that I'm going to pass my flat iron through, but I mean, this is, if I didn't have time, I could leave. I could leave the house right now. Two very boring minutes later. So I ended up walking into the bathroom, which still had a little steam in it. I forgot to leave the door open. I just have like some Con Air Infinity Pro by Con Air. It's cute, it does what it gotta do. So I'm gonna be as quick as possible and I'm going to put it on double time so we can get through this quick. All right, now we are going to get into this face. I'm thinking because it's New Year's, I should do something that I don't do, a smoky eye. Um, I think I don't know what exact smoky eye I'm gonna do, but it's going to give glamour. Glamour, I'm liking that. It's gonna give glamour, maybe a pop of color, like a dark color. We're just gonna have to get into this makeup look. I'm going to wing it, I think. Hey, come on, come on. Whatever we get into is gonna be fire. I'm gonna come back with my eyebrows done because I feel like doing my eyebrows take the longest. And maybe a week ago, I happened to stumble across uh, Aaliyah J's page and she always starts with her eyebrows done. I'm like, 
oh my god like this is everything so eyebrows are gonna be done let's get into this makeup look hey guys just a quick reminder if you are enjoying this process of getting ready with me for New Year's Eve. I do hope that you guys like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. And you know, shoot, pass it on to a friend. Hopefully, you know, you wanna buy some of the things that I'm using. I always put what I use in the description box. So thank you guys and Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs> Let's get into this face. Wait, I ain't revealing nothing just gonna come back with eyebrows see ya <laughs> I have my eyebrows done I'm not doing them as thick and bushy as I used to I'm trying something a little more sleek and I'm enjoying it shout outs to uh, Kai who took me to get my lashes done down in Atlanta and at first I didn't like it but I'm kind of liking them they're just a little they were a little too thin for me but I am kind of enjoying them so it's a more thinner eyebrow but it's still like full so I'm going to apply a blue smoky eye a pop of color and still a smoky eye so I'm going to start off with my base which is going to be this Mac grayish color my hands are so ashy because I was doing my hair and I didn't want to you know have lotion on my hands so excuse that but this color is oh gosh this is so old it's like worn out never I don't know but it's a dark gray tone that I'm really feeling and I think it could be a nice undertone I'm not going to do an eye primer just because I just don't feel like I need it I'm also going to give myself a fox eye vibe it should be cool but it's going to be all like blue smoky in this area and kind of just like cut and kind of connect these we're getting snatched for this new year you feel me all right Enough talking, enough chatting, let's get into it. Maybe I should have done a primer. <sighs> I'm gonna try it on this eye. Oh man, it feels like this eye is going to grip the makeup, darn. You know, getting ready for 2021, is there any New Year's resolution goals that you guys are thinking about for the new year that maybe I should think about as well? Now that I'm done with that, I am going to go in with, it's called Brother. This pretty blue right here with a mix of this one and this one. Just gonna be a mix of all of those. Guys, I'm a little nervous. This one is really OD. This blue is pretty aggressive. But we're going all in. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. I'm going to apply the Tarte Gel Eyeliner. Ooh. And I'm just going to apply that in my inner eyelid. Back up on my bush. All right, y'all, so the eyeshadow for the most part is done. I have to fix this area up a little, but I'll get to date. I am, I look crazy, y'all. I rarely see myself with like heavy eye, like eyeshadow. So this is kind of fun. I am now going to apply 
this NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker and create a like a really thick, dramatic wing. You, you feel me? Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, can y'all see that? Is dry. I am going to start prepping my skin. I already put my go to stay matte Remmel and of course my milk hydro grip. I put both of those on my skin first and now I am going to apply the LA Girl Pro Conceal Natural under my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with Fawn. I have a couple dark spots so I'm going to put a little red. Uh oh, I might have cut up too soon. Oh boy. Now I'm applying cool tan. It's kind of like it's going in the areas that bridge the gap for me. As you can see, I literally put concealer on my skin first. Whether that's right or wrong. That's what I do. To wet my sponge, I am using this Evian like spray. All right. Start with your darker colors and go up. I'm going to take off this elastic band just because I really don't want it messing with my makeup and creating like a line. That wouldn't be cute. So I'll be right back with this off. Okay. So we looking cute or whatever. Um, but this thing like really was smashing my ears. Okay. We're gonna get this under eye right quick back in with this to moisten this area. I am going to be using Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection in the color medium deep 23. <laughs> and I'm just going to pump it on my hand. It's very wettish, that's a word. I'm just going to apply that everywhere. I'm gonna go in my concealer kind of T-bone area with the Pro Conceal Medium Deep. Now I am gonna go in with a little bronzer, not bronzer, uh, contour. And this is the color Toast. It's a little darker. And we're just gonna snatch everything up at this point. Now I'm applying the Milk Translucent Powder. I'm going to be applying this Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. At this point, I'm feeling as though my skin is done for the most part. I am going to put a little bit of blush in this area and a little bit of highlight here, but I'm not gonna do highlight over here. I'm staying more matte this time around. I have to do my lips and my eyes or my lashes. 
And then I'm really done. I gotta apply a little blue in this area just to clean that area up. But otherwise, honestly, it's done. I think I'm gonna just conceal this area a little bit so that it has that perfect clean look. But I'm gonna do that stuff fast. So let's get into that. Hold up, wait a minute. I really love this brand. Their lashes are super cute. As y'all know, I think I wear them every time. I will say you do have to DM her for her uh, her lashes. They're an excellent price. I know DMing, that's weird or whatever, but I'm telling you, it's really worth it. And the quality of her lashes are amazing. Her name is Abby. And I think that you guys should definitely check her out. They're super cute. These are called All Eyes On Me. And as y'all know, the packaging is super cute. They have the spoolie, and I think it's worth it. No cap ridge. All right, lashes are on. Lip liner is by Makeup Forever. It is the Artist Color Pencil in the color Limitless Brown 608. Y'all already know I overline because, you know, that's my prerogative. Prerogative is right, right? That's what I want. What does prerogative mean? As a noun, it means a right or privilege exclusive to a particular individual or class. Thank Do you, you want to hear the remaining one? No, thank you. Yeah, I didn't want to tell you all the wrong things, so I had to look that up real quick, you know. All right, so I achieved this lip color by using two different glosses. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Undressed Lip Gloss, this color, very nude. And then, of course, the NYX Butter Cream or Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. This was my go-to high school color and it still is to this day. So I am going to now put a little blush I'm gonna go with a pale pink so since I'm going with a pale pink that's definitely going to be flower wall by KKW and I'm just putting it in this area where I would kind of like put my highlighter I just have been loving the blush in this area it makes me happy Put a little bit on my nose. Give a little button nose vibes. And then, um, I know I'm missing something. Oh yes, highlighter on just my nose, nothing else. I'm going for a very matte look. So I'm going to use, you know, y'all already know, I stand for Kitten. That's it, that's all I use. Kitten by Stila. You know, you know, this is my go-to. Oh my God, she is so cute. Like, there's just nobody like her. There's really nobody like her. She's always a ride or die. She really just gets me. I'm gonna clean up this area with concealer. And then, hey, I'm like, darn near done. Boom. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna go get dressed, brush out my hair. I'm really happy with the makeup from what I can see in the small screen on my camera. I think this is it. I'm feeling like, yeah. Something different. I do not do dark colors. So I'm really excited to have done this. And let's see what. Wait, what are we seeing? Yeah, we're seeing how the whole fit comes together. You know what I'm saying? 
This is the final look. I absolutely love it. It's very different for me. It's something new, but it has the perfect amount of, you know, mysterious, glam, New Year's Eve vibes. I'm only going to the living room, so it's a bit excessive. But you know, I had fun doing it. I have this cool, pretty rhinestone shirt that my sister gave me a couple years ago or a year ago now. I've never worn, so thanks, sis. I'm living for this. Like, it's cute. I'm just going to the living room, so it is what it is. But yes, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. This is what YouTubers need. So, you know, help a sister up, help a sister out, share this video. I'm praying that you guys have a wonderful and happy and healthy new year. We've come through a lot and we've overcome a lot. And I just hope 2021 blesses you and your family to the umpteenth power, you know what I'm saying? So guys, thanks again and happy new year. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye. Dude, no, he regretted. Last time we kissed, I know he can't forget it.